Some days uh, breathing in Almaty is like smoking 15 to 25 cigarettes per day. Hi, I'm Adis Kabash and you're watching Quick Take Geo. Now, the city behind me covered in smog is Almaty, Kazakhstan, where the air quality is reaching dangerously polluted levels. So we're going to meet a man whose hobby is tracking air quality in Kazakh cities. He's installed air trackers in Almaty and created a website where people can see the levels of pollution in different parts of town. This project has helped compare the air in Almaty to that of other cities and identify the sources of pollution. Pavel, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so to start, can you please tell us about AirCaz? How did you uh, create it? It started as, as a hobby project. I realized that uh, a lot of people are actually interested in the air quality information. Uh, it started from Almaty, but now it's covered in several cities in Kazakhstan, the Kyrgyzstan as well. It's completely non-profitable and I'm doing it in my free time. Um, can you please tell us a little bit about how it works? Well, actually, it's very simple. It has uh, like around 100 of uh, air quality measuring devices spread across Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. And each of them uh, independently push data to my um, server, uh, which uh, process it and display on, on the website, aircast.org. Uh, so everyone can actually get an access to this data updates every five minutes. Before that project, Kazakhstan was actually like a blind spot on the worldwide map of the air quality monitoring stations. What are some of the main takeaways that you've learned? The most sensors allocated here in Almaty. The main takeaways is that the, the biggest contributor to the air pollution in Almaty is, of course, uh, uh, burning coal and other fossil fuel during the heating season, starting from mid-October till mid of April. And uh, Almaty becomes one of the most polluted uh, cities in the world, which is uh, very un unhealthy and very unsafe for people living here. How new is this problem? As far as I know, this problem uh, is with us for many years like for all the time when Almaty was using coal for heating, which is like, I don't know, 30 to 40 years. Uh, but it becomes more and more dangerous just because city is growing. The level of the coal consumption is growing as well. So everything uh, stays in the atmosphere of the city just because we are close to the mountains. There is a um, thermal inversion of atmosphere, which prevents the pollution to like, you know, spread um, higher to the atmosphere. And there was announced uh, the big process of the our power plant conversion to the gas. Uh, but it will take, officially, it will take five years, but there are some um, experts who are saying that it will take up to 10 years, which means we will have to breathe uh, polluted air for 10 years more. Not uh, enough measures are taken considering the importance of the topic. It's not the main priority for local authorities to address it or at least to inform people. It seems like the problems are both with information but also the kind of actions that the government is taking. And overall, what kind of government response has your research received? Uh, as for research itself, it has zero government uh, uh, attention. But there was similar research from uh, Kazgidramet, which is officially uh, responsible for air and water quality assessment in Kazakhstan. And their uh, report was uh, more or less the same. It was especially interesting to, to see it in the, in the COVID quarantine uh, time, because before that, many people were um, sure that it's a car traffic, which is responsible for the majority of air pollution. But uh, during the quarantine, we had almost zero traffic on streets and air pollution was still very high. It was very interesting to watch how the, the, the statements of the government officials changed. Now they um, recognize that the burning of the coal is one of the most important and most heavy contributors to the air level of air pollution. So something is changing and like, you know, statements are changing and some actions are taken, but uh, from my perspective, it all happens very slow. You know, our life is too short. I'm doing it for four years and uh, I don't see much progress uh, since that. If you could explain to the average Almaty citizen what they're breathing in every day, what would you say? 
For some days, uh, breathing in Almaty is like smoking 15 to 25 cigarettes per day. So for the citizens here, it's an actually uh, ecological disaster uh, and it should be addressed that way. Thank you so much for your time.